Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Jess Plays Pokemon. My name is Jess. So against my better judgment, we are going to be opening a Dragon Ball Assault of the Sands box today. Uh, I was going to keep this sealed actually, and I was advised to keep it sealed, but I already pulled this guy here. I'm super, super happy about, and I want to see if we can pull some magic um, while we're filming. I also want to talk about a few things today. I'm going to try and keep things short and sweet. I don't want to blabber on, but I do want to address a few things going on in the Pokemon world right now. So without further ado, I'll open this up. Now my chair is very squeaky. I do apologize. Squeaky chair attack. Um, and please do forgive me if I do get a super good pull. I'm pretty sure I know a lot more about this than I did with the Yu-Gi-Oh box film that I never aired because I am not super well versed up on Yu-Gi-Oh. <clears throat> Alright, so I want to first off, I do want to cover about why I, I haven't been posting as much on YouTube. So I haven't been as consistent there. Um, it, it all boils down to money. Look, listen, at the end of the day, <laughs> I am a full-time student. I have children. I work part-time, so I can't buy stuff every single week um, and make these videos. Um, and secondly, I am also, oh my God, has anyone tried to open these before? I'm not, not having a great time. <laughs> um, second of all, I have been trying to invest. So I'm trying to get into collecting sets that are going to make me money down the track and and you might be thinking you know why has your tune changed Jess why are you starting to think like some of these collectors who only seem to be in it for the money and the thing is I do still love Pokemon and I do still get pulls that I absolutely enjoy and and you can see it and you can hear it when I do pull something I like but I also have to be real that I one day need to get some sort of a return on this because I've spent thousands. I've spent more money on Pokemon than anything else in my life, aside from my children. That That's a given, right? <laughs> um, so, so that's kind of why I haven't been posting much on here. Um, I haven't been buying boxes every other week. I don't buy packs every other week. I also do a lot of uploading on TikTok just to try and get some followers over on my Instagram. So yeah, that, that's just a little bit about what, what's what been happening with me and why I'm not on YouTube as much. And I hope you guys understand. And there we go, we got Toa Dimension Leaper. Uh, I am collecting other sets, so yes, as you can see I am collecting Dragon Ball. Now, I always remember Dragon Ball Z. So I'd get home from school and I would sit and I'd watch Dragon Ball Z. I know nothing about Dragon Ball Super other than the fact that the, the Super Rare cards look so freaking badass. They are so damn cool and it's so cool to see other like print runs of other stuff. So not just Pokemon. Like Yu-Gi-Oh for instance, their, their commons and their normal cards are just so beautifully done. The artwork's fantastic. It's really mythical almost like magic the gathering kind of I um, mean these guys right here they're there they're definitely their own flavor and I do enjoy opening these in fact I mostly buy packs just spare packs every week it's a bit crazy so we have got the final guardian nice little rare there I know that the pull rates in these boxes are a little bit crazy and you you might just get a couple of $20 cards here and there. So that, that was the hesitation of opening this. But now that we have the trunks, I'm kind of cool with it. You know? I'm cool to open these. And I do love seeing all the different types. I probably have a good booster box worth in my drawer already of singles that I have pulled. Crazy. Okay, back to the addressing stuff. So what have I been doing on Instagram? I have been negotiating sales. I have dipped my little toesies into the pool of middle manning. So middle manning, it kind of sounds easy. You know, you connect a buyer to a seller, but there is a lot of work that goes in 
and I have a lot of things, uh, challenges against me. Oh, we got trunks. Super Saiyan 3. Frick, that is so cool. The, the card texture's a little meh, but cool picture all the same. I like it. So, yes, yeah, so middle meaning isn't exactly a walk in the park. Um, I'm in New Zealand. Completely different time zone. Um, the only benefit, I suppose, of, of middle meaning is that I know a lot of people. So I'm, I'm really happy to connect buyers and sellers and... Oh my god. I'm just, I'm just having a bad time opening these. <laughs> I'm really hoping I don't like damage the cards from opening them this way either. I might have to go get scissors, I think. Oh my god. There we go. So yeah, I do enjoy that aspect and it is such a cool feeling when you do get a sale. You've helped connect people across the world getting high ticket items or just really hard to find items. Um, so you do feel appreciated. It's pretty cool. But it also is also very tiresome. Alright. Restrain. There we go. I did tell you guys the hits in these. Sometimes they can be a bit hit and miss. I am going to get this guy right here to start opening packs and then hopefully we won't have as much um, cringe content trying to open. There is probably a trick to op opening them very well. I just have not mastered that yet. Alright. And as usual guys, please thank my camera for not focusing on the cards very well. Right, we've got Vegeta, Kale, Powerball, Sorrowful Strike, Goku Black, Time Skip, Sun Goku, Helping Hand, Ironclad Defense Frost, that's pretty cool, and Broly. I think that was our first pull as well. So we've got that gorgeous emerald green Shadow Hollow. That is really pretty. We'll go through the pulls after this as well. Um, just so you guys don't miss out. Right. Okay. That seems to work better. So just pulling straight from the back. Fingers crossed that's all we need. <laughs> okay. So back to the Pokemon stuff. Um, so in the Pokemon community, there has just been an absolute... It's just been a shit show. There has been a lot of hate and just a lot of division. Like, there's more division now than than one I've ever noticed. I like this guy. I think I pulled him on TikTok not long ago. Big Lord, that is my son's favorite character. He plays on PlayStation. Yeah, so there's been a great division in the community. Um, we're seeing seeing posts just people dogging on people it is it's really hard when you're in this for so long it does tend to get you down when you notice like an influx of, of negative energy um, so I do try to separate myself from it but then my personality is that I like to address things and I like to air them out and I like to get people objectively thinking about things we've got Vegeta the Cruel these cards are so thick, like this stack right now. Do you see that? They're, they're built really well. I've got to hand it to the creators. So these are... They're not tops, are they? What is it? Oh, Bandai, that's right. Yeah. So hopefully we get a super rare or a secret rare. I don't know what they're called, but I do know that the artwork is freaking cool. And, and it's still exciting to get a really cool pull. Right, we've got Kale, Kaioken, Defense Frost, Cauliflower. <laughs> All right, Undying Spirit Sun Gohan. That is an epic picture right there. How cool is that? Like he's about to knock you out. Freaking cool. Okay. So I don't know if we're halfway. We might be halfway by now. And no, no super textured cards or anything yet. I hope that we get a textured. That that would be nice because typically you get the the shattered hollow. That's just a given. Right. Breeza. Okay, we got Bulma. Cabba. See, I know most of like the older stuff. Awesome. So we got our first textured pull right there. We have got Raditz, Saiyan, and Arms. My second one. I've got two of these now. 
absolutely beautiful. So yeah, that is a textured pull. I'll pop him to the side. And we'll keep rolling. We'll keep rolling. I hope that this has been a very eventful video for you guys. I hope you've enjoyed me blabbering away, making cryptic comments towards the community. That is what I do best. <laughs> I know that right now at the time of filming, everyone is up in arms about a live video that was recorded with Collectibles Guru. So he was opening his first edition box. I believe Leonhart was there and I want to say Brian, I'm not going to get that name right, but a few important people in the hobby all came to verify the authenticity of, ooh, pretty, of the box. Um, unfortunately, it was fake. It was a reseal. Now, it was actually really well done, so the packs on top were real. Everything looked legitimate, and as they started pulling the packs out, it was noted that there were some unlimited basic packs, which straight away is... You know, it's a giveaway that the packs are not legitimate. Um, and how heartbreaking is that? How would you feel if you dropped a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand, an, an insane amount of money to find out that your cards or your box is fake? And and what's worse is that people are laughing at you about it. They think you deserve it. I just I can't comprehend that that people are just so nasty to one another. Now, people have got very different opinions about Collectibles Guru. Some people outright disagree with his mythology about how he goes about selling things. Um, and that may well be true. You are absolutely within your rights to disagree or agree, sit on the fence, whatever you want to do. That is your right to, to stand where you want to stand on the Collectibles Guru debate. However, it doesn't mean you have to be a dick. Like, like, you don't have to be horrible to someone. And I do feel for Collectibles Guru opening that box and finding it was fake. I don't think anyone deserves to have that happen to them. And the fact that there has been this insurgence of resealed boxes coming out of the waterworks, like, it's just so horrible. I hate it. Every time I see that happen to someone, it's just so not cool. So I don't know. I, I understand that people dislike him, but it also speaks volumes the way people behave towards one another when something like this happens. And, and I've been looking, I've been looking at my newsfeed and I'm watching who is being mature about this and who is just being an outright bully, like no better than the people they're trying to out right now. No, like I'm just not about that. If I disagree with somebody in the community, in the past, I have voiced it, <laughs> but that it's never proved to be good. It never works out. Um, however, if I do have an indifference of opinion with someone, I will keep it to myself. I'm not going to try and form a lynch mob and, and go after someone. It's not worth it, and it just matter What the hell? Oh, that's not good. Look at the back. I'm trying to get it to focus. I don't know if that's meant to be on it. Like, yeah, it's definitely not meant to be on it. Like, I don't agree with people manifesting this type of behavior where we can just easily burn someone or cancel someone um, based on an indifference of opinion. And I know that people are gonna listen to this and probably try and challenge that. This is really pretty, but it, it's another shattered hollow. I like that. And that's fine. I, I'm always here to talk peacefully, respectively. I like a good civilized conversation. I like a good argument where we can take something away from one another. So if somebody wants to challenge that and say, hey, I think Collectibles Guru deserved to have his box be fake, then okay, I, I would like to hear you try and justify it objectively speaking. Oh, I love this guy. Anyway, we're moving on from that and we are moving to up and coming prices on collectibles. What an exciting topic, guys. Um, <laughs> everyone's talking about it and I'm going to bring it up. And this is just coming from a person in the hobby who has done no prior research other than studying the market of collectibles. So I haven't got a degree in business. I don't follow every trend out there. However, oh my God, this one doesn't want to be open. 
it would seem that perhaps down the line we are going to see a plateau and my prediction is end of January. So end of January, I think that things are going to start to slow down. Oh my God. Oh, look at the bend in that one. Not good. Prices will slow down. I don't think they'll come down. I think that wherever they end up by the end of January or, or December is where they'll stay for a wee while and it will pick up again for the 25th anniversary. All too easy. Oh, he's so beautiful. The stack. <laughs> it's so much better than Pokemon. The cards would have slipped off by now. I've just got it all sitting there neatly. We are nearing the end of this box. Now, like I said, we've pulled a $14 card. So that is the risk of opening one of these. But I'm pretty happy because I've got my Gohan. Uh, Gohan. I've got my Super Saiyan Trunks. So... Yeah, I'll be happy regardless. And it's nice to sit and chat and finally do a video with you guys. Just talking about stuff. Covering the bases. There we go. Last Resort Vegeta. How many have we got left? Not many. Okay. If you've followed this far, thank you so much for jumping on and just... I know it's not Pokemon. And some of you might be disappointed. <laughs> but it is still cool to open stuff. I do like still opening different cards. Um, and I will be opening more Pokemon in future, but it's not going to be the same as it used to be. YouTube, I hit the ground running and I tried to be consistent and I tried to get videos out. But the reality of trying to balance collecting slash investing is just madness and it's way beyond my budget. Perhaps one day. I'll see. I'll see where everything goes and there will be PSA videos coming out. So my first submissions this has got the stuff on it as well that's really not cool especially if it's going to be a good pull right broly sun goku elder goku black that's so cool yeah we'll see watch this space all right my then we got kale the awakened sister girl power that's cool i like it I like it. Okay, how many have we got there? <gasps> okay, this is a four, four, four more packs to open. That's the word brain was trying to say. <sighs> Not liking the opening of these packs. I wonder if it makes them harder to reseal. I would imagine so. Like you would just about need super glue. Of some crazy variety to get these resealed. <laughs> right, Wiz the Regulator, Wilderness, we've got Super Saiyan Rose, and Kefler. Got like five of these. They seem to be a very popular pull. Well, I don't think we're getting a signed card this box, guys. And I doubt I'll be buying more Dragon Ball boxes because they are very costly to find. But I do buy the occasional pack just from like my local EB games. And that's good enough for me. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's get a good pull. We've got Cauliflower, <laughs> Saiyan Bloodline Vegeta. Just a rare but still cool. What a painful box to open. Seriously. <laughs> I don't like this. Okay. Saiyan Bloodline, Coco, Powerball. I'm rolling through these because we've got one pack after this and I'm really, really hopeful. Oh, Sun Gohan. I pulled this one yesterday actually. Still a cool card, but not a textured. It is that same shattered hollow. Now, last pack, we managed to get this to 20 minutes and look, there's, there's dust on the back of these. It's not good. Right, last pack, and I'm trying to think of something to say just to round up this video, but I just want to say thank you. Thank you if you've supported me over this time. It seems to be that everyone thanks the viewers, but it, honestly, it, it is so appreciated. Damn. <laughs> It is so appreciated when you guys all chip in or if, even if you just enjoy watching for the sake of watching. That is cool. 
Right, Sun Gohan. He looks really cool. I like the gold coming off. We we got a couple of really cool rares, but no signed cards. I don't think we got this. Okay, we got a couple of secret rares, so that's something. So the Shadow Hollow is really pretty. I know that this is a more of a guy's kind of collector <laughs> collectible. So me saying really pretty sounds a bit funny, but it's a cool little collection. And of course that seemed to be the best pull in that box. I got two of them now, so that's something. And then we have got the beautiful trunks. Super Saiyan 2. Such an epic card. I love it so much. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Whether you like watching my content, whether you're here to hear me talk about the Pokemon community or you want to disagree with what I say, that's cool. Please hit me up on Instagram. Jess plays Pokemon. No spaces. Thank you for watching and I will try to do some Pokemon content next time. Goodbye, everyone.